Welcome boxing fans to the channel Tema Boxeos, your homie Tony Bugs. We're going to be talking about Anthony Joshua versus Usyk in this uh, video. You know, uh, the fight's coming up August 20th for the, for the belts, for the uh, IBF, the UBO, and the UBA super heavyweight belts, uh, and the ring, no, the ring not, because, uh, Tyson Fury owns that, but, uh, Anthony Joshua coming from the UK, London versus Usyk from Ukraine. Uh, it's going to go down August 20th. Uh, I believe in in London again. Uh, no, he's uh, from Waterford, Hertfordshire, England. What you know? What I'm saying my bad if I uh, pronounce that wrong, but uh, yeah, August twentieth. August twentieth, Usyk versus Anthony Joshua. Don't mind me. I'm just sipping on a chilada. But anyway, um, like I said, the rematch, the first fight, the first fight uh, you know what I'm saying, lost it. but he lost it for not being, uh, not being uh, active enough, you know, uh, he got out hustled by Usyk, Usyk uh, used the jab more, he was jabbing more, throwing, uh, just being uh, the busier volume puncher, and AJ didn't have nothing uh, to, you know, to counter uh, Usyk's elusiveness, as you know what I'm saying. He was like the, Usyk is like the Loma of the heavyweights, you know what I'm saying, because he was a cruiserweight, became undisputed at cruiserweight, moved up, but being, uh, being a cruiserweight, 204, you know, usually with the cruiserweights be fighting, uh, you know what I'm saying, uh, he came up challenging. Uh, he got, I think, Usyk got like two fights in uh, the heavyweight before uh, going up to heavyweight before getting a crack at like AJ. He was there. Him and Top Rank were really putting pressure to uh, get a championship fight, you know. And he got it, and he he beat AJ, but uh, he beat him by outworking him, out jabbing him. And you know, uh, just being more busier. If if AJ would have used the size, his uh, and you know, just jab more, uh, use his physical abilities to to overcome uh, Usyk's uh, you know overall volume uh, punching. But that was just because because uh, AJ didn't start body punching until like around the fifth round. Uh, you know, if he would have, if he would have been doing that from the beginning, I don't think uh, Usyk would have got uh, ahead as he did in, in the cards. Uh, but I mean, AJ thought he was winning, but it was a close. I think it was a close fight, uh, but not really, because AJ just got shut out. He just didn't throw enough, so there's no way it's a close fight. Uh, he did make it close in the second half of the fight, but he did a, if if AJ would have at least did what he did throughout, you know, some of the rounds that, that he had good, but he didn't have many. He, I would say he could have won three, four rounds at most versus Usyk. Uh, looking back at it, because I did not watch it live, I just rewatched it a couple times, so. So I don't know, uh, Joshua just wasn't active enough, you know, but he just got uh, out hustled by the smaller Usyk and, and now Joshua was going to be adding, adding a couple more guys to his team, you know, like Robert Garcia. Let's see what Robert Garcia, the, you know, one of the guys from, uh, from Cali, making like 14 world champions. So let's see if, if Robert can add something to his to his game, you know, he could. I'm pretty sure um, Robert's gonna implement uh, AJ to go to the body more, so uh, you know what I'm saying, so he can stick and, and so Usyk won't get even started, you know, warmed up and because you, we seen him, uh, you know, he was he was going ham in there, he, 
Pierre uh, make a statement, and he did, you know, capturing the three titles, the Super WBA, WBO, and, and IBF for sure. So, uh, winner out of this might, might go after Tyson Fury if, if he comes out of retirement. If not, for his vacant, someone's going to fight for his vacant uh, WBC title. So, I mean, uh, you know, Wilder might be getting a crack at it if, if uh, Tyson really but in this fight, uh, like I said, I'm rocking with AJ, but he has to he has to come with a good game plan, hit the body, hit the body, and and just don't let Usyk um, out hustle him and and throw him more more punches. So he just gotta go in there and from you know from the first bell, Usyk is gonna go in there and and try to establish his jab right away so uh if he does that you know josh was just gonna have to counter with his jab and then uh and work the body work the body early so so you can kill the body and you know what i'm saying the head will fall after so uh you can go after the ko after that but from the beginning he should be going to the body so he won't get uh he won't let Usa get in a rhythm and and you know what I'm saying? As long as he goes to a body, because he he did uh, slow him down in the first fight from like uh, the fourth to like sixth round. Usyk uh, slowed down, but he could have also been uh, a little gassed from from being uh, you know highly active from the first to the fourth round. So uh, he was probably just taking a little breather. But I'm saying that's when uh, AJ should have you know went in and. And he was, but uh, he wasn't throwing as many good shots. He would he would land a, a punch here and there, but Usyk was just being elusive, and and he wasn't letting AJ catch him with when it, with anything significant. So uh, I mean, he would, but but Usyk Brown would catch uh, AJ uh, with something good. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and most likely would be a left jab or or just a, a left over or or a left hook you know what i'm saying so it, it was just it was just landing and aj aj's face was getting uh swollen and you know it did from like the ninth to to 12th uh he had it he had uh his right eye swollen and you know Usyk did get um his skin uh pierced by AJ's uh, fist as well, like around the 11. So, you know what I'm saying? They were exchanging shots, but I just believe uh, if AJ wants to regain his titles, he has to go in there with, with uh, I have to knock this guy out mentality or just uh, throw more in volume. So, you know, I'll, I'll work Usyk, but I don't see, I don't see AJ doing that since Usyk is the, the smaller man, you know, the more faster, faster man. So um, that's that's how we be AJ struggle when like he fought, uh, you know, in in injuries too with the fast hands. He was dealing with fast hands there, but here uh, he's dealing with the high volume of Usyk and then uh, you know that movement. Just that movement is a. Uh, you know, AJ is is a big guy at at what's his height at like six six, and you're looking at Usyk's like around what six two, six two around around there six one, um, but he he had he had size on uh he had size on on Usyk, but he still you know what I'm saying he still uh. Wasn't enough, you know. He's six three. Uh, like I said, the cat. You know what I'm saying. He he's really uh, one of the goats as well from like uh, the Olympics and and the amateurs. You know what I'm saying. Having winning gold at heavyweight London 2012 Olympics, world champions, gold and bronze uh, in Milan on nine and so I was uh, metal champion, European champion, Liverpool, light heavyweight, you know what I'm saying, and 
bronze medalist 06 in Pilov Div, metal away Europe in Europe somewhere in OA, Moscow, silver in heavyweight, you know what I'm saying, and another gold, but um Usyk, you know what I'm saying? Usyk is is one of those Russian Europeans that come with that pedigree of, of amateur boxing, you know, as as a lot of those Cubans, but as of uh, recent, it been the the Russians and the the Eastern European uh, winning titles in our division. So they're the ones that really been uh, making noise. But like I said, I have I think if Joshua can come with a good game plan, he can for sure uh, defeat Usyk. Um, if he can utilize his size and reach good, I think he can knock him out because uh, he catch Usyk like in the 9th to 10th round with shot, you know, he kind of dazed uh, I mean, Joshua just didn't finish so he let Usyk survive and, and you know, he he took them titles back to uh, to Ukraine so so now um, Joshua's for sure gonna, you know, hopefully he comes back strong because uh, he's for sure one of my favorite fighters, Joshua, and and I think uh, I like him better as champion. So uh, I mean, Usyk's cool too, but I just think uh, uh, AJ Swagger is, is doper. So you know, what I'm saying big AJ fan. Shout out to all my people in the UK. You know, what I'm saying that that watch uh, the channel. But shout out to y'all. But yeah, man, you know, I fully support. I'm with the UK in this in this rematch and. And with AJ, so you know what I'm saying I'll be rooting for him, and and hopefully he wins. I think he'll be, he he did all right uh, in the first fight. I just think he needed to throw more, you know what I'm saying, and and he could for sure win the fight. But uh, we'll see what game plan he comes up with. Adding a couple guys to uh, new different guys with experience, as, such as Robert Garcia, uh, to. Uh, to his team, so we'll see if that plays any factor. I don't think um, Usyk had anybody. I just think he's gonna try to do the same. And for him, if AJ don't throw enough and he and he could do somewhat similar as to the first fight, he'll win again. So now, if AJ comes and be more aggressive, then I think Usyk is gonna adapt and and for sure throw even more, you know. But he could get a little bit more reckless and and could get uh, caught with the shot and get K get KO'd by the bigger man, but. Um, yeah, as of as of now, uh, you know, I favor I favor uh, Usyk, but uh, if AJ comes with a good game plan, I think he can, you know, uh, come with the rematch and have a better game plan as he did with the Reese fight, and, you know, and get a a victory for sure. So, I mean, that that's the end of my video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and. Um, yeah, you know, keep supporting and uh, like like them videos. Till next time.